This is the story of Sebastian Malitz. Sebastian was a 21-year-old Polish poker fanboy who satellited into the EPT Barcelona main event for just 27 euros. The field was huge that year. 1,785 players, Sebastian made it to the final table. And the prize money on the line was huge. In this video, we're gonna relive his best moments from that final table. Action now on Sebastian Mallet, the former chess prodigy who qualified online for 27 euros. And you thought David Van Plew looked a lot like Harry Potter. So we go check his hairline for a lightning bolt. What did I just see? The shades are coming on, which means he's gonna play the hand. Hardly surprising, ace king in the cutoff. That's a raise to 400,000. He's a big fan of the EPT, maybe even our podcast. Uri Reichenstein has pocket fours on the button. And the chip leader re-raises. A three bet to 1.1 million. I think flatting is standard there, but three betting as a semi-bluff kind of works too because fours don't play great post-flop. Round to Halkiadakis in the big blind. He folds. So now back on mallets. And just to give you some perspective on how many players entered this tournament, just the big blind contains the starting stacks of more than six players. Wow. Mallets calls. So we're going to the flop. King, queen, six. Mallets with top, top. Told you fours are kind of pants post-flop. Checks the action to Reichenstein, who had the pre-flop betting lead, and he will continue. Well, this certainly isn't getting a fold. 850,000. Yeah, he's gonna call, don't, it's fine. Taking us to the turn. Time to make like a tree and give up. Eight of diamonds changes nothing. Now let's check a second time. Oh, looks like a second barrel's coming. I'm gonna go ahead and call this bet Suicide Squad because I'm not a fan and it's probably gonna lose money. 2.3 million. He's not blocking any good hands and he's practically drawing dead against any hand that would call him. All in. Now let's check raises all in. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Huh, no snap call. I guess I'm good then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. No snap call. <laughs> kids watch too much TV. <laughs> Sebastian Mallets in the big blind with Jack Eight of Diamonds. That's a call. Heads up to the flop. Which sees Duroy pair his six. He's better than a 70% favorite here. He knows we can still see him when he does that, right? <laughs> oh. I think he's going to lead. 475,000. Odd spot for a dock bet, but I can tell you one thing. This kid is loving it. Well, Thomas was the pre-flop aggressor. And he will continue to play aggressively, raising to 1.2 million. Well, looks like one good weird bet deserves another. Uh, here we go. What is he doing? I wonder how many times this kid has dreamt about getting into an end boss style raising war with absolute air. I bet a lot. Mallets is just three bet. 2.2 million. I honestly don't even think it's really possible for him to sell a five with his action. I like calling, but there's a lot of bad turns for DeRoy. Well, he's called, thrown in an additional million. This pot is getting ridiculously massive, and there's a jack on the turn, and Mallet suddenly becomes a nine to one favorite. Wow, worst turn card ever for DeRoy. Oh no, Sebastian's checked the action to him, and Thomas bets 1.5 million. Sebastian makes the call. Sick pot, sick spot. No help for DeRoy on the river. Mallet has a lock on this. Action goes check, check. It's like Mallets is at Poker Player Fantasy Camp. He is living the dream. 
that's on the button. There's ace, eight of diamonds. He knows that Adam Owen is short. And he calls. Limps the button, kid's creative. Reichenstein also has ace eight, unsuited. He calls as well. Queen Jack for Adam Owen. Uh-oh, he may feel like he can get folds if he jams, but we know he might not, and Queen Jack definitely plays fine post-flop. Come on. There's the shove. Mallet's with the decision. What's he doing? <laughs> well, it's definitely close, as evidenced by his fingers. Like, I'm gonna buy a speedboat and a new car. Calling. He reshoves. I was calling if you folded. Whoops. Well, it's practically a flip. Okay. Queen Jack. What do we need? Queen Jack. Owen, the player at risk. He is live. Why does no one want to stay at the table? If you're gonna sweat, sweat with your pals. Flop. It's seven six deuce. Oh, be the turn, then. The turn card is an eight. Mallet's still ahead. It's alright. It's alright. It's like Jack's coming. Where is he on the They've seen the show. They want it always coming seven. So Adam Owen will watch his opponent's reaction to the river. The Brit needs a queen or a jack to survive. It's a six. Yes! Good yes. yes. game, man. Good game. Good nice playing with you. You play great. Have fun. Oh my god, no one should ever say good luck ever again. I'm stealing that. Have fun, Harry Pot Odds. Have fun. As this heads up battle begins, Reichenstein has the chip advantage. Blinds at 200,000, 400,000 with a 50,000 ante. Pocket fours for Mallets, he calls. Reichenstein with queen six. Raises, makes it 1.4 million. 1.2. 1.2? 1.4, wow. 1.4, okay. Yuri may end up regretting telling Sebastian to have fun. We're going to the flop. Four in the door, a set for Sebastian. Reichenstein with 3% equity continues for 1.4. Poor Yuri feels like he's got to rep this. Well, it's calls. For heads up, this is sort of a dry board, so maybe Yuri slows down after he gets called. The turn card is a 10. Reichenstein officially drawing dead. And officially not slowing down. Look at those raspberry chips, huh? They're worth 500,000 each. Ooh. Reichenstein fires 3.3 million into the abyss. Well, an ace is never folding, and this is way better than an ace. Mallet's calls. 12.3 million in the pot as we go to the river. Which is the case for Mallet's improves to quads. No, oh, wow, just quads. Uri. Oh no, don't do it. Hope Reichenstein doesn't rip it, Stein. Six point two. That's 6.2 million. Alex has the nuts, he has to raise. Oh, he shoves. I don't know how to grade the theatrics, but Yuri was never calling anyway. 
A fault. And Sebastian Mallet takes the chip lead. Hashtag wounded by quads. You should show quads normally, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, I saw that you wanted yeah. to show it. Yeah. Did you have a good king high? Queen high. Queen high, ah, okay. No, it was very bad. Okay. <laughs> one point one. Reichenstein raises, Mallets calls. And the chip leader flops second pair. He's checked it to Reichenstein. Who's continuing? Uh, one million. Hmm, okay. Pretty easy call for us okay. now. Turn card. Is it deuce? Not a deuce. Okay, check. Now let's check a second time. Reichenstein betting again. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Two, four. Now let's calls again. Okay. Okay. I agree with everything he's doing and or muttering. The river card is a jack. Interesting. That is one of the worst cards for us. It's an over card and it makes straights. Do you want to shove? You think about it? <laughs> you shove and it's over, baby. <laughs> he shoved! Uh, Decision time for mallets. Decision time for us. You put me in the coffin here, huh? This could be it, but like, what the? I was told to play like ranges and stuff, but you have it's such a good card for you to shove on. True, but I still don't think we can call. Oh, and you were over betting for value before, but uh, I want to call you so bad. It could be over like right now. If he calls and he's right, he's won the Barcelona main event. But you're still a bit capped, right? I mean, you don't shove Jack for value. So you'd have to have exactly a king 10, queen jack, jack 9, queen, queen jack 9, jack, we bet jack 9 for value second time. Like king 10, queen jack, right? Or ace, queen, king, queen. So, wow, so many. 10, 8, 10, 8, right? Yeah, 10, 8, king 10. If I lose, I still have five fighting chance in this, so I should go for it, right? I disagree for the record. I should go for it. Okay, I call. Is it over? No, Reichenstein shows 10-8 for a straight. He will double up and reclaim the chip lead from Mallets. We had no blockers to value hands, and we had the ace of hearts, so no busted, not flush draws. I shove the turn and I win the match. Well... Mallets needs to keep his composure after that hero call gone wrong. Ha! Reichenstein is close to a 4 to 1 chip lead. Blind's now 300 600. Mallet's calling on the button with 8 9. Reichenstein with queen 5 in the big blind. Checks his option. I'll allow it. Mallet's flops best. Bottom pair. 6. He bets. Reichenstein calls with queen high. What you got there? Small piece for Uri. 1.2. Mallets bets again with the best hand. This line seems risky and aggro, but it's working. You're doing it, Sebastian. You're doing it. Reichenstein calls again. We go to the river. It's a nine trips for Mallets. Reichenstein checks for a third time. All in. Mallet shoves pretty much double what's in the pot. Man, this would be the hero call of all hero calls. Mallets would have had to be barreling pure air. Surely, Reichenstein will not call here with just a five. 
Yeah, but the flip side is that there are so few value hands mallets can have here, too. He does call! Nine. Was he announcing he had a nine, or was he just saying no in German? Mallet doubles up! Now we're pretty even in chips, right? I think yeah, so. I have 27 I million. You seem like you know, yeah. Yeah, like exactly even. But you still don't want a deal, right? <laughs> 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 Let's play for it all. Like, for the glory and stuff. <laughs> uh, I, I call. Mallet completes with ace three of hearts. 10-9 for Uri Reichenstein. He checks his option. Cool that Uri's not taking a super long time with his decisions to torture the kid. Oh, wow. Reichenstein is up and down while Mallet flops the nut flush draw. Uri bets. Oh. Huh. Really? I raised three million. 800,000 becomes three million. Kind of a weird raise. He's got showdown value already, and Uri might not fold a pair. If Uri wanted to get an edge, he could just start making water sounds or tell him his middle name is Nate. Reichenstein calls the raise. The turn card is the Eight of Hearts. What a card! Mm -hmm. Welcome to Cooler City. A million here. This is 29. Five million. So Mallet has turned a flush. Reichenstein has turned a straight. This could decide the tournament. Let's just fall, then I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have any strong hands when you just lead. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to just fall. So. I can't tell if he's talking too much or just the right amount. Reichenstein doesn't look like he's folding. How you call? Very brave, very brave. Very brave indeed. Very brave indeed. The river card is another eight pairing the board. Very brave indeed. Like. Flush not quite as strong now. All in. Strong enough. Mallet shoves on Reichenstein. Here we go. All in to call. I think I cover you, right? Yeah. So you call and it's over, baby. Like, you know, like Scott and Guyen, yeah? <laughs> like, <laughs> True story. It's so sick that you're telling the truth and my hand is insanely strong. Yes. I mean, you don't have any strong hands. How can you have a strong hand? Like, you, you lead, like, never strong hand, never strong hand. So just fault and I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I have a hand that's impossible to fold, okay. and everything you say yeah. just makes it slightly possible. I don't, like... yeah. I don't know, like, I just want to go to pee. I really, I really want to pee, so... I'm just confused, like... Like, I don't know. I, could, I guess you could have, like, 9-10 or something, but... I don't know. What, what about 9-10? Is 9-10 good? It's a straight, but, like, you, I have queens in my range, jacks, sixes. You don't have those hands in your range, so... I don't think you have any of those hands. I think you might have a flush, though. It's your choice, man. Wow. It's so sick. Nobody ever talks like you without having the nuts. It's so sick. Totally agree. Ugh. Where is Mallets going? How are you doing, guys? Hey, how are you, man? Come. How are you? Are you both okay or what? Are you going to win, no? I'm going to win this. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm a winner. EPT champion over here. <laughs> Who's that guy? Reichenstein calls. He loses it all. You're so, so, so big, you know? Yeah. Did that guy just take a selfie with mallets? Is he a paid extra? Taking it well. Rockets like calls! And it's over! I have no words, James. No words. Sebastian Mallets has gone from poker fanboy to poker champion, taking down the biggest EPT of all time. Best last hand ever. This little one is gonna have quite the sugar crash. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it is clear that this means the world to him. Every emotion possible in the last 10 seconds. <laughs> 
Yuri Reichenstein, the runner-up. A great player, and he classed it up big time in the face of some pretty weird situations. Good for this kid, though. Good job, man. He fell in love with the game watching his heroes on TV. He qualified for this tournament for just 27 euros. Sebastian Malitz will lift the trophy and earn himself a seven-figure sum, 1.1 million euros. Yeah,